Hey everyone, welcome back to another video in 31 Days of Horror. Today's video is a first time watch of Scream 6. Thanks for checking out this video guys. If you are not subscribed, please do so and hit the little bell to get notified every time I post a new video. So, Scream 6, first time watch. I did not enjoy Scream 5 at all, as you would have seen earlier on the 31 Days of Horror challenge here on the movie vault. So let me just say I was, I went into this with low expectations and I was pleasantly surprised with this one guys. I really did like this one. I didn't love everything about it. The movie starts off and I'm like, okay, let's kind of, let's ease into this. I'm gonna stop you right there and I'm gonna tase you in the balls. I thought that was hilarious. I really liked that. That was really funny. So the story kind of continues on from Scream 5, obviously, except this is kind of feels like Friday the 13th, right? Jason takes Manhattan, Scream takes New York kind of thing, you know? Wasn't too sure how I felt about that at all. The store attack early on in the movie, I thought was really good, really well done. I disliked the, you know, ghost face takes the gun. Spoilers, guys, there will be spoilers in this video, I'm sorry. I really liked Kirby returning, that was great. Everybody's probably wanted her back since Scream 4. So the old Scream mask, it all makes sense later on in the movie, but I felt they were going for a Halloween 2018 kind of feel here with the kind of, you know, the mask is deteriorating and stuff like that. The train sequence was really, really good. I really liked that. And I'm sorry, guys. I hate Chad and Mindy. I've disliked the two of these since they came in at Scream 5. And I was delighted <laughs> when Mindy, I thought, got killed on the train. She's such a nuisance character to me. I hate her. I just do, I, I just do not like this character at all. A horror and the twin and the twin brother, right, Chad. The reveal at the end of the movie, I thought, okay, that was a fairly obvious reveal and kind of ended up with the whole movie because it's the family of the guy from Scream 5. And then, surprise, a spoiler guys, at the end, the core four is still alive. Damn it, I wanted some of them to die, but they survived somehow. And they give the little kind of, you know, just the one learner that like, you know, Gail is still alive in the hospital, everything's good. So we're all set for Scream 7, I guess, with the exclusions of the main cast and all of that controversy online. But there you go, guys, Scream 6, I surprisingly like this one way more than I like Scream 5. Jump in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Scream 6. Did you enjoy 5? Did you like 6? I want to hear from you guys. And as always, I will see you tomorrow on another 31 Days of Horror video. Stay spooky and I'll talk to you then.